20 years ago, you'd be hard pressed to see a native Yellowstone cutthroat trout make a spawning run out of the Yellowstone River. They spawn in the tributary streams, which either did not have water or were inaccessible because of uh, impassable culverts. So through the years, fish biologists improved passage and secured water through leases to more than double the number of tributaries that cutthroats use today. The combination of these actions has made this a real robust population of Yellowstone cutthroat trout. Even with these successes, the cutthroat has disappeared from historical strongholds because of climate change, forcing biologists to focus their efforts on the upper stretches of the Yellowstone River. We really are focusing our efforts in an area that is modeled to stay cooler longer. And our goal is to increase the resilience of the fish so that they can withstand what's coming at them and be around for future generations. And by conserving these native fish, FWP provides a unique angling opportunity and preserves Montana's past. To my mind and to many other people's mind, these are precious. These are our heritage. These are the fish that Lewis and Clark encountered when they came here. These are the fish that fed Teddy Roosevelt. And I like the idea that people can come from out of state and have a little taste of what Montana was. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.